it's hard to explain. There wasn't, wasn't much really that went wrong or what happened. There was, it was just uh, a freak accident. Steve Brown, known for his role as a presenter on Escape to the Country, has captured the public's attention with his charismatic presence on the show. However, his journey took an unprecedented turn when he was involved in an accident, which left him chair-bound. Steve has shown that disability is never a setback depending on how you handle it. But not everyone knows what really happened to him. So join us as we dig into the inspiring story behind one of television's most beloved presenters. Born in Ontario, Canada, Steve Brown is a household name in the TV industry. As a young boy raised in a football-loving family, Steve's early years were marked by a passion for sports and the outdoors. His childhood was filled with adventures, exploring the countryside, and a deep love for football. Inspired by watching Crystal Palace Football Club, Steve attended Borden grammar school in Sittingburn, Kent, which he excelled both academically and athletically. He was actively involved in various sports, representing his school in cricket, football, and cross country. His enthusiasm for sports and his love for nature shaped his early aspirations of becoming a wildlife presenter, a dream he held on to despite being advised against it by his school career's master. Growing up, Steve's adventurous spirit led him to explore the natural beauty of Britain, fostering a deep appreciation for outdoor living. This connection to nature would later become a theme in his professional life. His early exposure to the countryside, combined with his competitive nature, laid the groundwork for his future endeavors. With a beautiful family, a support system, and such an active childhood, not even Steve imagined his life could take a downward slope. But the worst did happen to him. The saying, tough times never last, but tough people do, clearly depicts Steve's life as his journey journey was marked by a near-death accident that affected his life and career. In 2005, while on holiday in Germany, Steve suffered a severe spinal cord injury after falling from a balcony. The fall caused severe whiplash, snapping his neck and dislocating one of the cervical vertebrae below his skull, which trapped his spinal cord and resulted in paralysis from the chest down. Following the accident, Steve spent weeks in intensive care in Germany before being transferred to Stoke Manville Hospital in the UK, where he underwent rehabilitation. I was working abroad in 2005, and that's when I broke my neck. Um, I fell from a balcony, and when I fell, I snapped, snapped my neck backwards. During this period, he had come to terms with his new reality to learn and to live as a wheelchair user. Despite the immense physical and emotional challenges, Steve's determination and resilience shone through. Steve's introduction to wheelchair rugby during his rehabilitation marked a turning point in his life. He embraced the sport with the same passion and dedication he had shown in his previous athletic pursuits. His natural leadership abilities and competitive spirit quickly earned him a place on Great Britain's wheelchair rugby team. His hard work and commitment led to his selection as the team captain, a role in which he excelled. Steve's leadership was on full display during the 2012 London Paralympics. Captioning the team in such a high-profile event on home soil was a significant achievement. Despite facing tough competition, the team's performance under his captaincy was commendable and garnered widespread respect. Throughout his career, Steve participated in numerous European championships, where he and his team often performed exceptionally well. These tournaments were critical in building the team's reputation and showcased Steve's tactical prowess and determination. Beyond his on-court achievements, Steve played a crucial role in advocating for wheelchair rugby and mentoring younger athletes. His involvement in wheelchair rugby not only provided him with a sense of purpose and fulfillment, but also paved the way for his future career in television. Steve's transition into television began with opportunities to commemorate on disability sports and share his experiences as an athlete. His natural charisma and ability to connect with audiences quickly caught the attention of producers, leading to more prominent roles in presenting. In addition to his sports-related roles, Steve expanded his television career to include various presenting opportunities. He worked on BBC's Country File, where his love for the countryside and nature was evident. Steve's work on Country File showcased his passion for rural life and his 
his dedication to promoting accessibility and inclusion. Steve eventually joined Escape to the Country in 2017, bringing his enthusiasm for rural living and his genuine interest in helping families find their dream homes to the show. The show's central idea is to showcase the beauty and appeal of the British countryside and make it a compelling option for those looking to leave urban life behind. As a presenter, Steve takes on the essential role of guiding house hunters through the exploration of countryside properties that match their specific needs and preferences. His involvement begins with understanding the unique requirements of each participant, ensuring that the homes he presents align with their desires for space, location, and lifestyle. Steve tours are detailed and informative. His personal style is to go beyond superficial features to analyze the potential of each property. He highlights not just the aesthetic appeal, but also the practical aspects, such as the layout, the condition of the building, and any renovation opportunities. His ability to see and communicate the potentials in older properties helps participants to imagine how they can transform these houses into their dream homes. Steve's role in Escape to the Country is distinguished by his extensive knowledge of rural areas, offering viewers a thorough look at local communities, amenities, and attractions. He emphasizes key aspects like schools, healthcare, and recreational options, helping house hunters with all the necessary information to make an informed decision. Over the years, the show has remained popular, resonating with audiences who aspire to live a peaceful country lifestyle. Each episode features buyers who are shown various properties by a presenter, including a mystery house, which often provides surprising options they may not have considered. Beyond the show, Steve has been involved in several other television projects. He has presented documentaries and advocated for disability rights, using his platform to address important social issues and inspire others. Safe to say, Steve has added advocacy to his numerous job roles as he's been involved in several high-profile charitable initiatives, focusing on issues close to his heart. His commitment to charity is evident through his support for organizations dedicated to disability rights and inclusion. Presently, Steve is the head coach for the Canterbury Hellfire Wheelchair Rugby Club, where he mentors and trains athletes. His coaching not only focuses on developing players' skills, but also on fostering teamwork and resilience. Quality that Steve embodies. Additionally, Steve is an ambassador for Wooden Spoon, a charity that uses rugby to support disadvantaged and disabled children. He also serves as a patron of Panathlon, an organization that provides sporting opportunities for young people with disabilities, and serves as a trustee for the Swale Youth Development Fund, which supports youth projects in his local community. Steve is also an active public speaker. He shares his story and insights at various events. He joins Sky Sports Scholar, where he serves as a mentor for the Sky Sports Living for Sport program, which aims to inspire young people through sports. Steve Brown's diverse career has contributed significantly to his growth. As a television presenter, former athlete, and public speaker, Steve has built a multifaceted career that has garnered both recognition and financial success. Speaking of financial success, Steve has done well for himself. As of 2024, his net worth is estimated to be between one to five million dollars. Steve's continued success is a result of his diverse investments in high value assets, which are not made public for reasons best known to him. Additionally, his high-profile television career, particularly his role in Escape to the Country and other media projects, further boosts his financial standing. With his inevitable resilience, Steve's bank account is expected to grow exponentially in the coming years. Despite the fact that he's physically challenged, it doesn't look like he's slowing down anytime soon.